Hey, this is Jeff Waters. You might know me from my band, Annihilator. Uh, it's early March 2015, early morning, very cold here in Ottawa, Canada. I'm on my way to the airport. Uh, first stop is going to be Edmonton, Alberta, and then, uh, let me see, Calgary, Alberta. And I'm going to be judging a couple of the uh, contests for the Vakan battle, or Vakan medal battle, here in Canada. So, uh, cheers, and I'll see you out west, Canada. from the band Annihilator. I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Very beautiful place. And this is the first city that I'm going to be judging the Vakan Battle Canada contest. And uh, there's three great bands tonight. We're gonna go in the venue and check it out and uh, say hi to some of the bands. Yeah. Okay, we're here with El Nora, a band from Red Deer, Alberta, correct? Yeah. Yes, awesome. Sir. Good stuff. Um, we want to ask, yeah, of course, the El Nora are playing tonight, along with a couple of other cool bands here in Edmonton. And I got to ask you what the metal scene is like in the Red Deer area. The metal scene is absolutely fantastic in Red Deer, I find. Um, it went through a few years of drought, if you will, um, but really there's been a promotion company just thrown out to um, or thrown in Vine. They've really helped grow the metal scene in Red Deer here in the last few years. We've got a lot of different genres of metal coming through. It's been it's been a good place to be. What have you guys heard about the Vakan Open Air Festival? What what have you heard about it, and how does it feel knowing that you you've got the chance to travel to Germany and maybe play there? More or less the mecca of the metal world. It's uh, probably one of the best best uh, well known metal fests that there is in the world for sure. Um, it's, it'd be a great great opportunity actually to, to play and even compete and go there. It'd be amazing for sure. Alright, here we are in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Another beautiful city. This is the second city that I've been on on this Bakken metal battle judging tour and mini documentary kind of thing. Uh, we got four bands coming up here. And it's the finals, the finals of Calgary. And we got four bands gonna play a little later. We're gonna show you some of that and we're gonna talk to the guys pretty soon. We're from Morley, Alberta, Canada. I'm hoping to see you guys at Boston Open Air. Beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We, we are here with the band Death God. Where are you guys from? Morley, Alberta. And it's a reservation. Yep. All right, reservation. awesome, fantastic. What is the metal scene like, actually, from your knowledge in Calgary and reservation? Are there other bands or other any kind of metal band at the reservation? Are you guys the only ones? Just like one, 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 one more. Yeah, it's like one more. You guys have lots of fights, or are you all friends? Uh, <laughs> somewhat. somewhat. <laughs> what do you guys heard about the Vakan Open Air Festival? 
How does it feel knowing that you might have a chance to actually go to Germany and play it? Stoked. Pretty stoked. Exciting. You see videos on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you had to simplify it and say, what's your band like? If you had to sort of say it's like these guys, who would you say? Kind of like, um, like a little bit of Behemoth and Chemical Corpse a little bit. And I like that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Awesome. Next of all, you know, brutal shit. see some footage of them later. And uh, Montreal band, you're from the city? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, good. What is the metal scene like in the Montreal area in your eyes? Hmm. Well, it's, it's very varied and eclectic. I think there's so many uh, types of bands in Montreal that you can, anything you want to hear, you can hear it. Either trash, either death metal, doesn't matter. Any genre of metal, you have it in Montreal. Brutal. Yeah. Technical. Brutal. I'm also, Believe it or not, a yoga teacher. So, you know, death metal drummer, yoga teacher, how is that even possible? Well, let me tell you, it is possible because I love yoga as much as I love metal, and to me, it's an exorcism. I just, I'm pushing out all these negative energies that are maybe inside of me, but I'm doing it with a smile. You know, I'm, I love it. Just double bass drum, screaming my head off with a big smile. When I'm done with a metal gig, I'm happy. I'm not aggressive. I'm happy and calm. You just let so it out. I let it out. Yeah. We are here now in Ottawa with the mighty Mutank, Lee and Steven, who were, of course, last year's Vakken Battle of the Band's winners. Uh, How's yeah. it going, guys? It's going great. Thanks it's for having us. Here. How was playing Vakken uh, last year as the winners? I'm still trying to cure my hangover. Yeah, I'm still trying to get over that. It was, uh, it was you know, four or five days of, uh, you know, dreams come true, really. I mean, it was a great opportunity for the band. We had uh, a lot of great opportunities there. Like, uh, I mean, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't play in the top five or anything like that, but I mean, just to go over and represent the country for, you know, being their selection, being their choice, I mean, it was a great honor, and we, uh, we played our hearts out since then, I mean, things have really been opening up for the band, and uh, yeah, it's going great, it's, it was mind-blowing, definitely the king of all the European festivals, it was, uh, it was something surreal, absolutely. Legendary. <laughs> Ontario, Canada, 
and we are here for the uh, final, the final of Canada's Bakken Metal Battle. So it's going to be a blast. I think there's six bands in the finals and a uh, special guest band playing at the end of the night. So uh, we'll check them out. Here we go, last one. Dressing room of the uh, what's it called? The Opera House. The Opera House. Yeah. The Opera House. It's the final battle, vacant battle here in Canada. So this should be a, a real fun one for everybody involved. And we have Vesperia, a Toronto-based band here, and uh, they're one of the six bands playing tonight. What is the metal scene like in your area? It's pretty vibrant. There's bands in every subgenre. You've got a little bit of black metal, death metal, thrash, groove, everything. It's uh, it's very vibrant, and very mixed, and there's a lot of uh, different categories of metal here, and it's uh, it's pretty exciting to see all the new bands coming out all the time because there's always something different. What have you guys heard about the Bakken Open Air Festival, and how does it feel knowing that you've got the chance to travel to Germany to play there? That's huge, huge for us from a band that started uh, uh, pretty pretty much from nothing, but I guess that's how all bands start. Uh, I've actually played the festival before, so it's uh, yeah. I, I can't wait for uh, the possibility of bringing what, these guys what over. Band? Uh, Crimson Shadows. All right. 2013. What year? 2013. 2013. 2013. Awesome. I think, uh, I think uh, Annihilator played it that year, too. Yeah, I think we were on that sort of warm-up day where there was only three bands. That's Some right. small bands called uh, Rammstein and Deep yeah, Purple or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of them before. We had to <laughs> leave. Uh, you guys played probably on the hottest day of the festival then. On the Wednesday. I think it was like 36 or 37. Yeah, lovely. Was, uh, <laughs> that's funny. But where did you guys hear about it like way back? What's the first time? You know, was it like surfing on YouTube and seeing some of your favorite bands playing there? Or how did you hear of it? Um, Word of mouth from coming across it on the internet. Uh, of course, um, Sam Dunn is from here in Toronto. He put out uh, Metal Headbangers yeah. Journey. So I think that definitely That's how brought I it to the bottom. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. 